The SHARP scheme, or Safety Helmet Assessment and Rating Programme, evaluates the safety performance of helmets available in the UK. It then provides this information to motorcyclists through a one to five star rating. Testing is rigorous, thorough and carried out at an independent laboratory. The impacts represent real life accidents and the helmets are tested on flat and curved surfaces. This specially designed and calibrated laser rig is used to mark each helmet tested. The white head form has lines upon it to ensure each helmet is accurately and consistently positioned on the rig. The helmet is then marked to show which points will be impacted so that the crucial data required to make the assessment can be collected and analysed. Use of this cutting edge and precision laser technology means that every helmet, however different, is measured at the same points to within a millimeter. This means that all helmets can be consistently and precisely compared. There are three tests. In this oblique test, engineers are measuring the surface friction of the helmet to understand its performance in a glancing blow. The helmet is dropped against angled surfaces while suspended in a specially designed harness. The forces caused by the abrasion are then measured. The more a helmet sticks, the more likely it is that a rider will suffer injury. In this, the flat surface impact test, the helmet is placed onto a metal form, which contains strategically placed load sensors. These measure the g-force of a head-on impact, forces which can pass through the helmet and into your brain. It is then dropped onto a flat surface at the precise point marked up on the laser rig including the front, rear, crown and both sides. An angled surface test is also conducted to the same critical standards and tolerances. These tests are similar to the flat surface test, but using a surface that is at an angle. This mimics the impact a rider may experience when crashing and colliding with the kerb or other road furniture. The helmet is dropped in such a way as to ensure that precise and predetermined points on the helmet are impacted. The results can be quite shocking. From all this rigorous testing, data is processed, assembled and analysed, resulting in a score being given to each helmet, which is then transferred into a star rating, making it easier for the consumer to compare and understand. But of course, none of this is of much value unless your helmet fits. Ensuring that your helmet fits you correctly is the single most important aspect when choosing a new motorcycle helmet. The first thing we look into is the, uh, the, the fit of the helmet. Um, so we take a measurement from the front of the head all the way around back to the front. Um, we generally work in the centimetres and that will give us a guideline size. Secondly, when you start to try helmets on, don't rush. Take your time. It's very important that the helmet fits correctly. Anything too loose when it gives will be too baggy and will not do its job. Anything too tight will give you a headache. We test to make sure that there are no gaps between your cheeks and the cheek pads for example and to ensure that we cannot get our fingers between the skull cap and your forehead. Uh, we then perform a roll test where we take the back of the helmet once the helmet is fastened and we pull forward to ensure that the helmet will not move forward in the event of an accident. It's got to fit my head comfy. Uh, good fit, definitely good fit around the face, yeah, definitely. All people's heads are different shapes, so at some, sometimes the, the lid you like to buy won't fit you properly. It's the only head I've got in it, so I can't look after it. So in summary, try the helmet before you buy. Get the right fit and make sure it's comfortable and make the safest possible choice for you. Mm -hmm.